let's talk a little bit about clasps. Clasps can be of various shapes and designs and uh, you will study these in detail when you um, study the subject of prosthodontics. Uh, but here we will be creating a type of clasp which is known as a circumferential clasp or a C clasp because of its shape. So um, uh, if, if we study the parts of this class, you can see that here we have the active arm or the uh, buckle arm which is act actually engaging the buckle part of the tooth and uh, this is now going to follow the circumference of the tooth to uh, go on the uh, lingual side and here we have the reciprocal arm. Uh, this part is the reciprocal arm which is going to follow the contour of the tooth towards the uh, lingual side or the palatal side depending on the uh, maxillary or the mandibular arch and then we have this minor connector. This minor connector is actually going to connect this part of the clasp to the um, palatal plate uh, like you see over here. Right? So now you cannot see this part because it has been incorporated inside the acrylic. But what it does is uh, actually it has connected the clasp to the acrylic or the lingual plate. Okay. And now you uh, from this minor connected downwards you see there is a small projection over here. And this projection is known as the retentive tag. So these are the parts of the circumferential clasp. So let's start the construction of the clasp. Now you see that basically you have to uh, place the wire on the surface of the tooth starting from the buckle surface. Place the end of your wire on the end of the mark on the buckle surface and start adapting it all along the circumference of the tooth. So you have to uh, bend your wire in the same way that you bend your wire when you are making your alphabets. The only difference is here that you are now adapting your wire on the surface of the tooth instead of on the temple. Template. You have to follow the contours of the tooth and keep a marker handy so that you can mark wherever you have to turn the wire and then um, turn the wire according to the mark that you have made. You can cut any excess wire if it's coming in your way and uh, then you can proceed again with the adaptation of the wire on the surface of the tooth. Keep on checking if you are bending it the right way um, and if it's being adapted properly or not. Last but not the least, you have to turn the wire in the end a little bit on right angle to the minor connector so that you can create the retentive tag. Thank you.